uh, in the roadblocks in getting this movie uh, out and you know into the public mainstream. Do you think that there is sort of uh, a bias against Christian messages against movies like this? Have you seen a change in the last 20, 30 years that you've been involved with the entertainment business? Well, 30 years ago, I was 10 years old, and I, I, I really wasn't that interested in things of faith at, at that time. But absolutely, there is an increased hostility toward people of faith. And we see so many things going on in the Middle East, and we see things beginning to happen in our country over the last 10, 15 years. Uh, and there's been a spike in this kind of, uh, of, of agitators really coming out in full force against communities of faith. So... I think this is a very important time for us to not stay silent, but to speak of those things we believe in, like faith, hope, and love. And I'm very excited to see the massive support that's come out for Unstoppable and other films like it, because people want to know the meaningful, lasting answers to the big questions that we have about life. When life comes flying at us and it challenges us, we want it to make our faith not weaker, but stronger. And people are demonstrating that by turning out tonight and selling out theaters. Yeah, and, you, and I know that you've said in making this movie that you came out stronger after asking those questions uh, on the back end of your journey here. You mentioned also faith, hope, and love. Do you fear that uh, too many times Christians in our modern society are, you know, pegged with having only one part of that, your faith and nothing else. Do you think that sometimes people lose the rest of the message of hope and love and compassion? That was, that's always been a concern, no matter what your faith is. People understand that, tr that, that truth must be accompanied by love and faith. And sometimes people can say, we've got the right answer. We've got uh, some truth on some important issues. And then parade it around with an, er an attitude of arrogance, which is never the way Jesus did things, right? He was always a perfect combination of truth and grace, of uh, the right answers communicated in love with compassion. And that's what we need to be modeling. Even when you do, there still be people who don't like what you have to say simply because they have a different answer and a different agenda. So what we need to do is understand that ultimately God is in control. Good overcomes evil. Life swallows up death in the end. And faith will overcome doubt. And we just need to stay the course. All right, Kirk, I will check out the movie tonight, as I know many others across the country will. Thank you so much for your time on this important day. Thanks, Shannon. Take care. You too.